Round one, Eastern Conference, the NBA playoffs. The Pacers know that stats, seeds, records are nothing. A storm has been brewing, and they are determined to bring a surge of energy in the opening game against the Milwaukee Bucks. Round one, game one, the NBA playoffs coming up next. Welcome everyone, the regular season is in the books. The battle for the East begins. Round one, game one. And tonight, it'll be the Indiana Pacers going up against the Milwaukee Bucks here at their new home, Pfizer Forum. Hi everyone, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burton. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. We've got Miles Turner. Benedict Mathurin is out there with Pascal Siakam. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. And it's Nemhard in at the two-guard spot. And for Milwaukee, Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. Connaughton and Middleton share the wing duty. And it's Lillard in at the point. Tip-off goes to Milwaukee. Puts up a deep three. The rebound by Turner. Halliburton against Lillard. Here's Nemard. That's good, and it's Halliburton with the assist. Nemard's got the first points up on the board tonight here for the Pacers. Alert against Halliburton. That's at five from 18. He squares up and sinks it. Oh, taking what the defense is giving Lillard with an opportunistic shot there. Passes it to Halliburton. Turner with a screen on Lillard. Halliburton passes to Turner. Lopez with the block. Out of bounds. Pacers ball as Indiana keeps possession. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. Well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. And so it's Indiana with it. You just will not outcompete. Miller plays the game with such passion. Dave coming up big on defense. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Down to five on the shot clock. Good. Nice job down low. Lillard's got his second best. Takes a lot of courage to get in there with those big bodies. Lillard with no shortage of Siakam finds Halliburton. And to Siakam. A three ball. A three-pointer is right on target. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Middleton. Lopez sets a screen for Middleton. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That's his first foul. Here's Connaughton. Middleton outside. The three. The rebound by Turner. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Pope loose. Stolen by Middleton. Lillard with no one around. It's rebounded by Tyrese Halliburton. Pacers have gone two for four from the field so far today. Siakama screen on Connaughton. Halliburton passes to Siakam. And the rejection by Adekumbo. Beasley's checked in for Pat Connington. 
First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Halliburton finds Matherin. That's good, and it's Halliburton with the assist. Halliburton's got three assists in the game. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for the Bucks, trailing by four. And the pass to Kumbo. Driving in. That one's in his first shot this game. The correct decision by Middleton moving to his wide open teammate, Chris, a terrific passer off the wing. Now, here's Siakam. Run to Kumbo. Siakam misses. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That's foul number two for him. Andrew Beverly, he's checked in for the Bucks, And Indiana with a change here, too. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Halliburton. Lillard looking around. Over McConnell. Milwaukee, no good that time either. The Pacers have gone 307 from the field since we've gotten underway. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And, and once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. But I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. McConnell against Lillard. Pass to Adekumbo. Easily outside. Six to shoot. Giannis kicks to Beverly. Oh, no good on the three. Pacers leading by five. Denise Smith. Halliburton outside. Passes Denise Smith. Lead away. Rebound, Milwaukee. You know, he made an easy shot so much harder, and it really cost him the bucket pass. Beasley finds touches to Kumbo. Beasley with a screen on Smith. Lopez up top. The pass to Beasley. From deep. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. When he's feeling it, Beasley a very reliable three-point option. You've got to get him off that arc. McConnell passes to Neesmith. Halliburton against Beverly. Toppin is screen on Beverly. Halliburton kicks to Toppin. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Milwaukee's gone just one of four from three-point range here in the first. to DeCumbo looking over the floor. Easily outside. They set the pick from outside the arc. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Well, this guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. The Bucks on top, up one. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. 
And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, guys. You got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. On the court for Indiana, they've got Neesmith. They'll be topping out there with Smith. Then it's Halliburton, and it's McConnell in at the point. Here's Neesmith, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Bobby Portis. The Pacers shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And the first one drops. And he makes both free throws. Al Beasley. to the paint. There's Portis. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving it. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. A lot of give and take between these sides early. And both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. Here's Middleton and another basket for Milwaukee. And just about every one of Middleton's shots is a smart one. Even for mid-range, he's not going to force anything. That's Denise Smith. Topping with it. He has yet to score. Good on the bucket. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Now here's Middleton. He's tightly guarded. The 17-footer. Misses that one. He's made one and missed two this game so far. D. Smith, the pass to Halliburton. And here's McConnell. Pass to Toppin. Back to McConnell. Six on the shot clock. Halliburton for three. It's hauled in by Beverly. The Bucks trail. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Out to the wing. Smith against Portis. Back to Beverly. Here's Middleton. It's rebounded by Indiana. The shot will not fall. Some solid defense from Gallinari. Kicks it down to Middleton. Easily outside. And again, the Bucks miss. Just enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Halliburton on the wing. Gallinari covering. Good. Yeah, give Halliburton credit for staying with the play. You've got to be able to fend off that defense and still finish. Bucks trail by three. And Milwaukee timeout, calls timeout. their first timeout of the game. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail.
in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Back to Lillard. This is it to Connaughton. Over in the corner, on to Kumbo. Shot clock at six. Here's Bochamp. And a great assist by Andre Kumbo as that one goes in. Bochamp's got the game tied up here for Milwaukee. And it's McConnell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. 130 left in the first half of the game. Siakam's shot is off. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. You know, Dane loves to test the defense like that, runs up against it, and then outworks them. The Bucs shooting their first free throws of the game right now. So they now lead by one. And, you know, such a fierce competitor. Lillard can score from anywhere on the court. And there's no one you'd rather give the ball to with the game on the line. Milwaukee making a switch here. Crowder's checked in. The free throw is good from Lillard. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him and he keeps making them. McConnell kicks to Turner. And there's the pass to Matherin. He can't hit that top. Good work defensively by Crowder. To the left wing. Portis in the post. He's against Turner. Nice shot by Portis. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside positions. To turn. Shot to stop the run. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Well, 6'11, 255 pounds. Miles Turner using that size to his advantage. Alert against McConnell. Lets it go with a three. Siakam pulls it in. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Connaughton passes to Andacumbo. Turner against Connaughton. Out to the right wing. Here's Lillard and Damian Lillard with the jam. And that's a defensive breakdown there. You can't give Lillard room to take off like that. And a close game so far for the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Huxley by four. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much with Doc Rivers. Doc, a back and forth affair so far. How do you pick it up? All right, thank you, David. And folks,
Hello everyone, first game of the series, off to a good start for the Milwaukee Bucks. The effort we've seen from the bench so far, it really helps to keep this kind of depth. Guys who can come in on the offensive end and they don't miss a beat. Makes things a little easier on the starters, but in the second half, they're gonna have to bring it as well. Seeing how things are shaking down for the Bucks. The lead in this series is up for grabs. How important is it to start off with a win? To me, it's crucial because it sets the tone. Ernie, Kenny, you always want to be a step ahead like I'm a step ahead of you guys. Mm, I agree with Shaq, but the playoffs are about adjustments. If you lose, hopefully you learn, and then you bounce back. Good points. I don't get to say that very often. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. us as we get back to the action on the court. Pacers trail by four. Middleton and Giannis slot in at the small and power forward. Pat Connaughton is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Lopez in at the five spot. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Now here's Lillard following the miss by Pascal Siakam. Over Halliburton. That one rolling around and rims out. Pacers shooting around 36%. They're just not able to finish consistently. Turner passes to Halbert. Here's Nemhard. This one for three. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. He dishes it to Lillard. Kicks it to Lopez. Middleton outside. And it's headed to Kumbo, picking up the assist. Middleton's got the lead up to seven now for Milwaukee. They've been looking at a sink offensively. Yeah, their offense has ground to a standstill. It's Turner, high post. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Well, you just love how Miles Turner goes right up with it, right? No hesitation, catch and shoot. Alert against Halliburton. Middleton looking it over. Out of kicks to Connaughton. Connaughton sets a screen for Middleton. Off target from three-point range. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Siakam inside. He's defended by Connaughton. Turner with a screen on Middleton. Matherin for three. Buries the long-range jumper. Matherin's got six points. Boy, a lot of confidence to Matherin's game. That efficiency has to get better, but he is not shy. Lillard, the pass to Middleton. Wants to get it to Antetokounmpo and does. Three-pointer Lillard hits it from three-point range. He's got 11. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Halliburton passes to Siakam. Here's Nemo. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Lillard from outside. The Pacers pull it in. Turner's got four rebounds now tonight. Lillard against Halliburton. Pass to Matherin. He kicks it to Turner. He gets it in there. Yeah, Miles Turner can carve space. Don't let that lean frame fool you. He can get inside and score deep. Lillard against Halliburton. And that one's good. Lillard 
And the Bucks lead by five. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Halliburton finds Matherin. At the top of the key, Turner. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. And it's Lillard again missing. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Siaka sets a screen for Halliburton. Oh, good on the triple. Milwaukee leading by five. Here's Lillard driving inside. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And no stopping Lillard. Excellent at staying in control no matter what the D throws at him. The Bucs have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Alinari, he's checked in for Lopez. Portis comes in for Antetokounmpo. And it's Malik Beasley in for Pat Connaughton. the ball. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. Eight-point game. Siakam up top. Dolan are recovering. Shepard the pass to Neesmith. Here's Toppin. Knocks down the three ball. Toppin's got five now. Wow, from the arc, Toppin shoots with real authority. You can tell it's an area of the floor that he's comfortable. Alert against McConnell. Here is Lillard. Here's Portis. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. Well, you're talking about a combination of length and hops. Toppin does a good job staying connected defensively. And we've watched three so far in this one. Milwaukee on top. They lead by five. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And let's listen to head coach Rick Carlisle review the game plan with his guys. Hey, hey, it's all about physical. It's all about... Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. And a look at the five for the Pacers to start the fourth quarter. T.J. McConnell is out there with Tyrese Halliburton. Then there's Toppin. Then it's Neesmith. And it's Smith in at the five. Pass to Smith. Snatched away. Golinari against Halliburton. Golinari dishes to Lillard. The pass to Connaughton. Lillard is screen on Smith. Feeds to Golinari. Lillard outside. Six on the shot clock. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Pacers trail by seven. Halliburton outside. Smith sets the pick for Halliburton. Oh, good with the triple. Here's Milwaukee now. It's up a three. It's rebounded by Tyrese Halliburton. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. That's Denise Smith. Fades. It's rebounded by Portis. Bucks leading by seven. Easily outside. Golinari with a screen for Beasley. Jacks up a three. Drops in the tray. Beasley's got the lead up to ten now for the Bucks. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. And the Pacers call time here.
different look for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Colin Hart. Antetokounmpo comes in for Bobby Portis. And Middleton subbed in for Malik Beasley. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? During that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear Rick Carlisle's message to his team. Now, his tone was pretty serious. He said, you guys need to prove you're in this. No one else can do it for you. Time to pour on the gas. We'll see if that fire gets lit, guys. All right, David, thanks. It's the Pacers with the ball. Looking to get on the board here in the fourth still. Siakam, high post. And to the Kumbos there. Just five to shoot. Turner with a screen on Middleton. Here's Maffering. It goes straight through with the swish. Well, the playmaking certainly getting better. Benedict Matherin decisive in the screen and roll right there. Pass to Antetokounmpo. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And here is Siaka. Following the three-pointer by Antetokounmpo. Back to Siaka. From the arc. Rebound, Milwaukee. Andre DeCumbo's got his fifth rebound in this one. There it goes, Andre DeCumbo. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Miles turn. In attacking with all that length, when Giannis drives, he's either scoring or at least getting the foul. And he makes the first. I think what makes Giannis special is how uncomplicated he is. The man is just an incredible, pure athlete who simply loves the game of basketball. That's all there is to it. No good on the second free throw. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for Indiana. Down by 12. Passes it to Siakam. Over onto Takumbo. Siakam's shot is off. Defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Giannis kicks to Connington. Lillard outside. The Bucks working the ball around. Burton against Antetokounmpo. Three-pointer, Lillard. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Siakam. That ball. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. Halliburton's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Timeout called. The Bucks. They're up by 10. 125 left in the fourth quarter.
three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Connaughton finds touches Kumbo. Physical basketball from Giannis into the Kumbo. And the strength Giannis has in his upper body allows him to just brush off the contact and complete that play. And oh, what a play. He just palms the block. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down. And what will be a win here in game one of the series for the Bucks? When you consider the difference in their field goal percentages, the team has to be happy that this wasn't a bigger loss. This team was on fire. Yeah, Kevin, it, it, it's always frustrating when you can't throw a rock on the ground. <laughs> And the other guys just can't seem to miss. And it's really got to feel very good to be able to jump out confidently to a 1-0 lead in this series. Absolutely. And I think their focus now has to be not on taking this win for granted. They should come out for game two with the same intensity. And honestly, maybe even more. You know they'll face a more focused team in the next one. So they may have to be just a little bit tougher. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Giannis out of the Kumbo. Boy, his defense is what stood out to me. There was a no-fly zone around this guy all night. He contested every shot in his area and sent a few back. Al Lillard following the three-point attempt by Pascal Siakam. Inside. Shots good by Middleton. Middleton's got the lead up to 12 now for the Bucks. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time here. And it's Matherin missing. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much. Giannis, you have said in the past you have even more untapped potential. So how did you put your fingerprints on this game? I'm just here to do whatever it takes for my team to win. Did a great job executing, moving the ball. And uh, this is what we do. This is what we do. We play together, and uh, whatever we do, hopefully we can get a win at the end of the day. Well, it certainly turned into a win tonight, man. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you for that, David. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.